In this video, I'll compare Zendrop versus CJ Dropshipping. So these are both dropshipping tools that basically help you find winning products and also do the order fulfillment. Now I'll show you exactly how you can use this, which one is better and which one you should be using. So make sure to watch until the end so that you don't make a mistake. Since making a mistake between these actual suppliers can cost you a lot of money and a lot of time because you will need to start over if you make a mistake. So again, make sure to watch until the end. Now before we get into the comparison of the features, pricing, shipping times, product pricing and everything like that, I want to mention that down in the description I'll leave links to both Zendrop and CJ Dropshipping. So if at any point in this video you want to get started with either Zendrop or CJ Dropshipping, you can use the links down in the description to get started. So first Zendrop, what exactly does Zendrop do? Now you can see that right here on their actual website, so it's very easy, they offer fast shipping, automated dropshipping, so that basically means they do the order fulfillment. Now you can also have brand development, so you can add your own custom thank you cards and stuff like that they offer us products which is really cool then of course the custom branding and then they also help you find the best winning products out there now cj dropshipping offers very similar features they also help you with order fulfillment and in terms of integration cj dropshipping does offer way more integrations you can see some of these are pretty small e-commerce tools such as lazada shopee prestashop all value and stuff like that but the main integration is probably with Shopify and both CJ Dropshipping and Zendrop do have Shopify apps that you can download. So that's very simple and they both of course then integrate with Shopify and help you do order fulfillment. Now basically here is explained what CJ does. So they help you source and sell winning products, then connect store and list products and then auto sync store orders to CJ and pay for them and then they also fulfill and track customer orders. Now this is the same as what Zendrop does, this exact process, however there are some small details and small features that are different in between these two tools. So that's what I will be comparing. Now first, how much do they both cost? Now of course you have the product cost, so how much the actual products cost, but first I want to get into the subscription prices. So here we have the Zendrop pricing packages. So what is amazing, they offer a free plan which gets you access to 1 million plus products and the product sourcing and then quick order processing and industry leading shipping time. Now the reason that you may want to consider getting the Pro or Plus plan which are $49 and $79 per month respectively is that you can get custom branding, automated fulfillment, unlimited orders and of course everything you get in free. Then the reason to upgrade to Plus is that you get the Zendrop account Academy, product bundles, subscription boxes and everything else you see here. Now the package that I personally like is the Pro one right here and the plus is if you really want to get serious with this because then you get stuff like subscription boxes, trending product finder, $100 order credits which is useful, chargeback management and everything like that. However in the Pro plan you already get the automated fulfillment which I think is one of the main features of Zendrop and that is of course not included in the free plan. So the free plan is basically just good to start to find actual products that you want to sell but then once you're actually starting to get some orders and running ads or however you're promoting it then I wouldn't recommend the free one then I would go up to pro so basically Zendrop the best package in my opinion is $49 per month when built monthly or when built yearly it's just $3.99 per year but let's just remember $49 per month or free to just find the products now CJ dropshipping on the other hand does this a bit differently they don't have any any subscription prices. The business model of CJ Dropshipping is that they have a little markup fee on the shipping, on the actual products, the inbound fees and the outbound fees and stuff like that. So basically you pay for the shipping for example and they have a little markup on that and they sell the products for a little bit more and that's how they make their money. Now what is amazing about CJ Dropshipping is they have a warehouse in the US, in China and in Europe. So that means that you can get really fast shipping basically everywhere in the world. For example in the US they have many products that arrive within two business days which is pretty much unheard of in the world of dropshipping and that is really good. Now Zendrop also offers US based products therefore Zendrop has just as fast shipping so in terms of fast shipping it doesn't matter whether you go with Zendrop or CJ because they both offer US products with fast shipping. Then they also both offer automated drop shipping which basically gets you the order fulfillment automated and then the custom branding is also available in CJ and Zendrop. So which one should you be using Zendrop 
or CJ Dropshipping. Now in my opinion, if you have a small budget, I would go with CJ Dropshipping and the reason for that is that you don't need to have any money up front since they don't have any subscription costs. So you can just get started with it for free. You should also use CJ Dropshipping if you want to sell on anything else than Shopify because Sandrop only allows an integration with Shopify. So if you don't want to sell on Shopify but rather on TikTok, WooCommerce, eBay, Etsy or any of these other e-commerce platforms such as Wix or BigCommerce that you see right here, then you need to go with CJ Dropshipping because Sandrop is not available there. However, if you do have a bit of a budget to get started, then personally I would go with Sandrop. Since in my opinion Sandrop is easier to use in terms of actually adding in your own branding and everything like that. Now here once you create your Sandrop account you will see this here where you can simply go in and connect your Shopify store, you can create a free custom built store, however this is coming soon but when you're watching this that may already be available, or you can choose I would like to build my own store. Now you can see here in the find product section it's really easy to find trending products, you can just choose where you want them to ship from, so for example ships from the US, then you can choose a category such as bath and beauty, then you can choose a supplier, so for example Sandrop fulfillment or any of the other ones, then you can choose a price range for example under $26 dollars and then here you will find a bunch of products that match up with this so for example if you want to sell this product then if we click on it you can then see the product cost right here you can see the shipping cost and of course you can order a sample now you can see the processing time is one to two days so in between one to two days it gets shipped out and then if the person that orders it is in the US then the shipping shouldn't be taking more than two business days so in total it will take three to four days for this product from the point that someone actually the purchase the product to the point that it actually arrives at their doorstep so that's really cool now when you create your cj dropshipping account you will see this so it's pretty similar you can first go and connect your store however it's not only shopify they offer a bunch of different e-commerce platforms and then you can just find a product that you would like to sell then you can also search for a product that you want to sell or you can upload an image right there for example if you go to aliexpress here then first you need to connect your store and then you can actually also find their trending products and stuff like that. So again, if you are just starting out and you don't have any budget to get started, then I'd go with CJ Dropshipping. However, on the long term, I think Zendrop is better because in terms of actually adding branding, bundles and everything like that, in my opinion Zendrop is easier to use because you can just click branding right here. You do need to have the plus plan for this, but with CJ it's a little bit harder and you need to purchase more upfront inventory in order to actually get custom branding and that will of course cost a lot of money. Also if you want to have a specific product that is not necessarily on CJ dropshipping in their warehouses then also you need to purchase those products upfront and that will also cost quite a lot of money so you're kind of restricted with the products that CJ dropshipping already has in their warehouses but with Sandrop they just have a bunch of different independent suppliers so they offer more products that are already in the US for example. So my personal favorite is Sandrop however if you just want to get started for free then also you can use Sandrop but you don't get order fulfillment so then I would go with CJ dropshipping but there is a bit of a more expensive pricing on shipping fees and other types of fees. So again if you want to get started with either Zendrop or CJ Dropshipping you can use the links down in the description to get started for free with both of them. Now again with Zendrop I would just get started with the free plan until you have found a couple of products and imported them into your store and only then I would upgrade to the pro plan right here so that you actually get the automated fulfillment. And then if you even want to take this really seriously then I would actually go with the plus plan so that you get the custom branding and also $100 in free order credits which will save you $100 dollars so then it will automatically be worth it. So that concludes this comparison of Sandrop versus CJ dropshipping. If this comparison was helpful please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said I will see you in the next video.